we're talking with David Hula, who is the National Corn Growers Association's uh, national yield uh, winner, uh, uh, world record holder. And uh, David, you're a, a Virginia farmer. Tell me where you're from. Yeah, we're from eastern Virginia, about 60 miles from the ocean. If you know the geographics, right around Williamsburg. Well, you know, when I think about uh, growing corn, and I would think of a record holder for the Corn Growers Association Yield Contest, I would think one of the I states, Iowa, Indiana, Illinois, one of those. How did it happen that you're in Virginia and get that kind of yield? Well, let me tell you, you're not the only one because there's also a Charles City, Iowa. So, so many people confuse that, hey, I'm from Iowa. But now we're from Virginia. And, you know, that's where it all started, too. So we farmed the land there at Jamestown, 1608, first cultivated. And we've just been able to learn how to manage air ground and achieve the yields that we've been had great success with. But the important thing is you got to use Pioneer hybrids. Absolutely, and we are at a DuPont Pioneer event today uh, where you're talking and uh, maybe sharing a couple of your secrets, but mostly just a little bit about your experience uh, with the, uh, 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 the National Corn Growers uh, Yield Contest. When did you uh, get that record-setting yield? Well, we were blessed. 2015, we had a really good year, but this was also in an irrigated environment, but we had a lot of sunlight. You know, that's one thing that as a grower you can't control. We can control fertilizer, populations, and moisture to some point. Just can't monitor sunlight or control it. So we were blessed to have a lot of sunny days and just put implemented a lot of things, and things just went right. And uh, what was the yield again on that, uh, t uh, on that uh, plot? Well, it was a tick over 530 bushels. And how about on the rest of your farm? Obviously, you're not going to get that over uh, the cross-section of your entire farm, but obviously you still get uh, tremendous yields and that year and most years uh, with DuPont Pioneer products out there. Sure. Wouldn't you like to have a 500 yeah. bushel average on a cross farm? But most of our irrigated acres are in the 300 to 400 bushel averages. Dry land that year, we were 220 some bushels. So we were above average for normal because typically our yields are in that 160s to 180s. And as, as we've been learning things from these high yielded environments, we're implementing those in our regular production and we're seeing some benefits. So we're improving our yields just like the rest of the country is as well. Well, David, um, Management is obviously a key to it. What are some management tips uh, uh, that you would have for producers here in the Midwest? Well, first of all, myself by no means know everything there is to grow corn. You got to learn to surround yourself with good people and use those resources to try to improve your yields. Then the next thing is you, there's no silver bullet. So we can't think of there's something we can pour in the jug to give us high yields. So it starts from the time you're planting the corn throughout the growing season. And when you get to one stumbling block, you can't go back and fix it. So when the planter leaves the field, that's done. So the most important thing I like to share with growers is go out in your field. Don't depend on somebody else and just see what's going on and then expand upon that for that year and then the years to follow. David Hula with us uh, at a Pioneer, a DuPont Pioneer meeting. He is the national record holder with the National Corn Growers Association Yield Contest.